Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And we are done with all of our quests here in Zandalar, guys, at least for now. And it's time for our very first instance. We have a choice between the Motherlode here at the port of Zandalar or Atal Dazar. And I've been thinking about it, and we really need to do these chronologically. And Yasma definitely needs taken care of, so... I think Atel Dazar is going to be our first instance in the expansion. Really looking forward to it. But before we queue up, I uh, want to show you guys some stuff. I told you in the last episode that uh, Swindle Gear was going to get a nifty new title. And fortunately, the quest went through. And he is now known as Captain Swindle Gear. Um, I never played Warlords of Draenor when the expansion came out. It com I completely passed it by. But when I found out that there was a Captain title... I went ahead and did the legwork and required a lot of patience and a lot of resources, but um, we were able to do all the shipyard stuff um, in the garrison and got the captain title for our favorite goblin pirate, which I was very happy about. It's very appropriate. And also, we have got some mail, uh, one from Deristi, which I always appreciate, and we got another one from Happy Hulawa. Hi, Swindle Gear. Beastmaster Lakala sent me a new friend. Apparently he had too much energy for them to train at the crawl. Feels wrong to keep him cooped up here all day. Swing by the Hall of Beasts and check him out. So, the Hall of Beasts is where all the mini pets are. If memory serves, so that's interesting. And then we have from Deristi, a long forgotten land. <coughs> Green Sully, I'm hearing whispers that you're heading over to Kazan by order of Gallywix, eh? Funny story, that. I thought the Kazan was completely destroyed by a volcano. Apparently not. My crew has decided that we would help soften your arrival. We'll deploy a few warships to Kazan that, to deal with their defenses before you show up. You can thank us later. I'm only helping out a friend. When you get this letter, my crew should already be done, and you can head in, safe and sound. The Reisty. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think we're going to give him a little bit more opportunity for plunder. Because uh, we got a giant spider lady to take care of. And also, we need to go to the Hall of Beasts. Now, I'm trying to remember where the Hall of Beasts actually is. Um, hmm. Let me go ahead and look that up real quick. And while before I look it up, though, let's go ahead and go into Yield Dungeon Fighter. Or, Fighter. Well, we are going to be fighting. Into the Finder, and... Queue up for Atal Dazar. So, uh, what's our wait time? Oh, wow, only six minutes. Nice. Let's see if I can find the Hall of Beasts in the meantime. Well, just landed here at the um, Beast area, but... Dungeon Calls. I guess we'll talk to uh, Happy as soon as we're done. Aw, too soon. <laughs> our first dungeon. Let's see what happens. You are too late. Outsiders, the temple belongs to my master now. Soon, Zul will awaken Dazar. Then the Troll Empire will rise again. Hey, that's too far away. Oh, we got some binkies right off the bat here. Okay. Now, the dungeons can definitely be some of the funnest parts of uh, Warcraft expansions, for sure. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this one has in store. This would technically be the very first Horde dungeon. Oh, are we taking some shortcuts? Oh man, we are going right for Razan. Alright. I need to get close. Yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm doing here. Hi. It's random. Delightfully random. I'm out of range. He has a quite a hitbox to him. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be focusing on the ads or focusing on the boss. I would think that we need to go ahead and focus on the boss. 
That's kind of standard operating procedure until otherwise told. Oh, hide. Hi. All right, that's that's easy enough. Hey, and vanish because Razan was about to go after us. I hope that was the right call. I can only hope and pray. And terrifying visage, or cloak of shadows. I need to get close. And down he goes. Rezan was a powerful Loa. Perhaps you will make a worthy sacrifice for Zul. Zul. Too far away. All right, there we go. Along with some deep sea satin. Now what? Actually, I haven't even checked the map of this place. Oh, it's like a promenade. Wait, where'd they go? Ah, okay. It's like easy to get lost. Not sure who we should be targeting here, but I assume the giant troll is always a safe bet. Oh dear. Did I just get disarmed? I did. Very briefly. Totem. Okay, I can do that. I need to get close. There we go. I'm out of range. And I'm sorry for the. I need to go ahead and turn that off when Swindle lets me know that he's already done stuff or it's stuff's out of range. But hey, that's too far away. So the totem makes them res. So that should be number or top on our list of priorities. Good to know. I need to target something first. Defiled bone. So, which doctor is first up on our Oh, actually. Dun 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 dun. All right, totem first. I don't have a touch. No, we can be taught. <laughs> I'm out of range. Looks like people can explode in poison. That's good to know for future reference. And it's kind of weird not using slice and dice in a dungeon because I'm used to not um, really ever running out of energy. So that's something I'm kind of going to have to get used to here. I need to get close. I need a target. All right. Where to now? Volka. Oh. I don't know if that was deliberate or not. Azul's got a lot of followers. Yep, that was deliberate. Witch Doctors are all about poison, and I'm not playing a, uh, that kind of rogue, so. It's like, what? It, assassination. Yeah, that's the one that deals with all the poisons and such. 
I need to target something first. So they basically set a landmine. Hello there, Park Cullis. You. I tear you apart! I'm not sure what we do. What we do. Hey, that's too far away. I guess we focus on the totems, yes. I'm out of range. And stay out I of the stupid. Alright. We will continue this until screamed at otherwise. Hey, you die with me. I need to get close. There we are. Okay. And I'm not sure. Okay, we have landmines. Hey, that's too far away. I need to get close. Well, uh, this is getting kind of messy real quick. I'm gonna cloak of shadows this. I'm out of range. So we just have to keep them moving. That's why taking out the totems right off the bat is definitely warranted. And this is I guess an AoE. So let's use faint. Hey, that's too far away. And this gives us kind of a stacking debuff. I can only assume gets worse. Must gonna build me again. Boltal in pieces again. No matter. I can rebuild him. But when you die, there will be no coming back. You can rebuild them. You have the technology. I'm out of range. All right. Well, if if the tank's not concerned, I won't be concerned. Gotta have faith in the healers, I suppose. I need to target something first. Alrighty. And a bunch of little guys. Hey, that's too far away. Terrifying screech, no thank you. Don't need to get ran into any more. And remember, this is a really good time to practice a lot of AoE. I need to target something first. Talanja. Is that a boss? Nope. Well, we'll go ahead and leave him alone then. Or them. Blade Flurry is for the win. So, uh, what are you thinking about your first dungeon here, Smee? At least, uh, here in Zandala. Ooh. Well, that looks pleasant. That's... Dunk! Sometimes a little bit of crowd control can go a long way in these dungeons, for sure. So they are fire trolls. I need a target. Good to know. Good to avoid. The Gilded Menagerie. I love Cloak of Shadows. <laughs> Just go, yeah, you know what, no. And now we're taking on Priestess Alunza, or Alunza. And taking on ads first. Oh, crap. I, I didn't do that, did I? I hope not. I need to get close. 
That's too far away. Remember, always focus on the. I'm out of range. If it looks like it's healing, kill it. I need to get closer. It's sound life advice. I'm out of range. Uh huh. I need to get close. Hey, that's too far away. And our, our, I think our healer's really in good shape. I don't have a tag. At least in terms of skill. And I will be turning uh, Swindle's alerts off here. You came for the gold, but you will leave behind your bones. Yeah. Oh, well, you had me at gold, I have to say. Ataldazar's power flows through me. Uh huh. Yeah, we're, uh, to tell you the truth, we're technically. Corruption be purified! Oh, everyone's running away. That's not good. Um, we're technically here to kill the spider lady, but, you know, now that you said gold again, that has piqued my interest. My claws will find your heart. The pools must be cleansed. My yeah. thanks Ooh. for killing the priestess. You have only succeeded in strengthening my hold on the temple. Whee! Oh! Right over the fire. That's how it's done. All right, we're skipping. Impressive. By the Triceratops. You made it farther than I thought, but I will still be drinking your blood. Well, uh, that's kind of foreboding. Ooh. Oh, that was creepy. Did not expect giant void spiders. Well, I should have expected spiders, shouldn't I have? The Tsar will awaken soon, but you will not live to see it! Yeah, we, we really need to have a chat about you killing the, uh, you know, the spider loa. Let your soul be shattered! I need to get close. And am I running this with like one tens? Because this spider's getting smashed pretty quickly. No complaints here though. Oh maybe it's just is just phase one. Your spirits apart. Okay, no additional phase. I see. And speak with Princess Talanji at Daza Alor. Yeah, sorry guys. You all take care now. Interesting. Well, that was definitely a group that had ran the dungeon before. Seemed pretty decent for a first dun first time dungeon though. So where is Happy at? I know he's here somewhere. This is where all the mini pets hang out. There he is. Tazokun. Oh, little Tika. Okay, cool. This is we can actually get little Tika as a mini pet. And the tiny dire horn. Little Benfon and Sorrowless Catchling. And a Raptor containment crate. <laughs> Shoot her! I dig it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and sell our trash here. Are you walking away from me? Eh, uh, yeah. What are you gonna do? You're gonna charge me on your little Triceratops there? Uh, 
Better not, that horn is actually perfectly aligned. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and end that here. Well, let's go ahead and talk to uh, Talanji and let her know that Yasma's been taken care of. And for our first dungeon, though, I remember the first dungeon we did in Legion was that water one that I really hated, if memory serves, because I think we did Asana as our first zone. Actually, I need to check that out because that's going to bug me otherwise. Um, where's the adventure guide? Dungeons, Legion, the Eye of Ashara. Yeah, that one sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit. So that one was like a breath of fresh air. Ooh, we got a quest here in the scouting map. Oh yeah, we need to choose our next location. I will do whatever I must to keep my people safe. Yasma's betrayal was vile beyond words. It may take us some time to find our way deeper into Atal Dazar. In the meantime, we have more work to do. May Bonsamdi see your enemies before he sees you. Neat. Well, we do have the mother load to take care of, but we also need to check our next zone. Journey with Princess Talanji into the dark swamps of Nazmir to put an end to the threat of the blood trolls. Our general Jak Jakrazet's secrets lie somewhere in the sands, head into the dunes to recover proof that will help remove him from power. Oh, man. I don't know if she would do Voldoon or Nazmir. I remember, I think you guys were telling me Nazmir needs to be first up on the list. Hmm. I am going to have to think about that. In the meantime, let's uh, see what else is going on. We'll head over to the port and see if maybe Nathanos has anything new for us. By the way... I'm not sure if you guys had heard about any of kind of the drama going on on the Warcraft like subreddit. I am listening. Or the WoW subreddit. Yeah, see, she's listening. Uh, Zandala forever. So, a lot of people, and I'd heard about this previously, were not particularly happy with Nathanos' increased role in the Warcraft storyline and being kind of Sylvanas' boyfriend and. It, it, he was all he's all over the place and apparently he's all over the place he was he was in a lot of places in legion and he's definitely in a lot of places here in battle for azeroth well someone apparently found a picture of the writer who was who kind of started pushing for everything like the the updated skin and everything for nathanos and apparently the writer looks exactly like nathanos's model or at least similar to it i haven't seen it myself but that's what i've been reading and a lot of people are like yelling self-insertion. Um, it, it's kind of interesting. Like if you ever get a chance, read up on it because it was. You're kind of like I don't really get involved in like the Warcraft development drama or anything. I just kind of play the game. But that is kind of interesting to me because it's kind of like a uh, a, a Dungeons and Dragons game master having a a big character be per someone who looks just like them. You know what I mean? That that little bit of of, hey, I'm in the game too, kind of thing. Which, when I, when I was game mastering uh, Vampire the Masquerade and Star Wars back in the day, I, I did that. I think every young game master does that. So, I don't know. Still, interesting to read and seeing how passionate people are about it. And how much... Oh, we only have 11 resources. I wish there was another way to get resources, to tell you the gods Who's honest. next? Because we need to get... We're out of Make troops, too. Pay. So, have to remind myself to turn off Swindle's voice. Because, you know, I'm Swindle's voice. I can go ahead and say that. You know, hey, I need to target something first. Yeah, it's too far away. It's me. Do something. Little stuff like that. And actually... Since I don't really want to commit to anything too drastic, in the next episode, we're doing the Mother Load. For sure. Um, I want to find out what that little bit of ruins are right above Nessingwary's Trek. 
So what we're going to do, it also gives us a chance to go ahead and scout out what Nazmir looks like since it seems to be on the side of a mountain. Let's go ahead and fly that direction. They say you have the air of the throne. Because I'm always... I, I don't think there's anything else that looks like that here on the map. It may just be a large, a big chunk of ruins. It might be an alliance camp for all I know. But we're about to find out for sure. And I'm going to have to find some way to uh, farm uh, pet points. Or not pet points. What is it? Pet tokens? What are they called in this expansion? The polished pet charms. Because I want to go ahead and get some of those little dinosaurs into the crew. Not Maybe not necessarily into the crew, but um, all of my characters tend to have their own unique teams. Like Swindle... I, 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 I treat my characters like Pokemon trainers, like NPCs you would take on in the game. And keep in mind, I'm not a huge Pokemon fan. I played during Gen 1, and that was about it. But I like the fact that a lot of trainers have their own kind of themes that they go with. So for Swindle Gear, he has pirate-based mini pets. Um, I my brewmaster monk Bao Shen, he has a lot of kind of Pandarian themed, like elementals and stuff like that. And I think a bunch of raptors and dinosaurs would be really good when I eventually am able to uh, play a Zandalari troll. Whoa! What the? The taxidermist. Oh, wow. He went ahead and, uh... He stuffed the king. <laughs> okay, well. Pay respects. You were a worthy adversary. Apparently a lot of the critters that I killed. Mr. Plebe is like, Waste not, want not. Oh crap, forgot that we got a lot of uh, unpleasant critters here in this zone. Now, knowing my luck, where we're going is probably an alliance base. Now, fortunately, we'll be able to get out of that situation fairly quickly. Ooh, treasure chest. Well, since we didn't really get any gold from Atal Dazar. Oh, this is where we fought. This is where we saved uh, Nessingwary. War resources. I think the the first time you get the chest, I think I may have gotten one in here before. You get a lot of stuff, but if they respawn, it doesn't give you nearly enough, which is understandable. Oh, that's a watchtower. That's one of those beacon towers that we would see down here at the islands. And here's our look at Nazmir. And that is very much Swampland. Which is interesting because I don't think that we've dealt with a zone. Um, I don't think there was a zone in Legion that was... Oh, there's a quest here. What is this about? Wanted. Dark Speaker Jola. Wanted for our... Atrocious crimes against the Zandalari, Dark Speaker Jola. Defeat this powerful adherent of Zul, and a great reward shall be yours. Great reward, you say? Well, where is the Dark Speaker? Orc Smash the Kingslayer. <laughs> Level 15, or 115, Maghar Orc. So people are already uh, rocking out the Maghar. Which is awesome. Ooh, should we wait for this guy to spawn? Oop! I hear the summons! Do you now? <laughs> oh! Looks like Orc Smash is going to assist us. Hey, how you doing? You want to uh, go and try and take on this guy? Wait, what level is he? Yeah, he's 115. Yeah, we can take him. Come on. It'll be fun. Mm. 
And Zap. No pockets to pick. Hey, you coming? Oh, we'll have a tank. Huzzah. No, no mind flay for you. And you know, if, if there's anything that we need to go all out with. Oh. Wow, he's got like a void summon thing. Horrifying visage or visage, however you want to pronounce that. Kind of like a void bomb. I like it. That's a cool. That'd be it. That would be horrible for PvP. I mean, it'd be awesome if you were playing a Shadow Priest, but. I need to target something first. And there we go. Yeah, you take care there, Orc Smash. You are a warrior. A few words. Oh, there we go. We got a cheer. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, we go ahead and turn that in at Nessing Rary's Trek. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what do we get out of this? Oh, some more um, Azurite and 25,000, almost 26,000 XP. I'm glad we went ahead and checked that out. So you always want to explore everything because you never know what's around the corner in an MMO. Sometimes it's like me, and then sometimes it's that. We get to uh, team up with the mighty Orc Smash. <laughs> you know, I got an opening on my crew for a Brute Squad. Just uh, go ahead and send your resume my way. What would an Orc resume be? Would it be like a boss's head? <laughs> like, hmm, me do this. Ah, I see. Yeah, that, that's definitely an orc resume. Now, maybe at the moment we're completely done with Xandalar. <laughs> we're just going to keep on finding like little, little small quests that we might have missed along the way. Which I'm okay with. I still can't believe that the T-Rex is stuffed. Ah, we don't have to deal with, uh, Nessing Rary. That makes me happy. Do you need protection? That troll was nothing but bad news for everyone. You have done well. Watch yourself within our city. Huzzah! Alright, guys. Well, um, that is a dungeon taken care of and a, um, what was his name? <laughs> Some nasty shadow troll dealt with. So, good times today. In the next episode, we are going to hit the mother load, hopefully, knock on wood, and uh, see where we go from there. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.